Learning to pray effectual, fervent prayers through scriptures. The prayer of Jehoshaphat when his enemies were invading. The prayer of deliverance. Second Chronicles 20, starting in verse 5. And Jehoshaphat stood in the congregation of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court and said, O Lord our God of our fathers, are not you God in heaven? And rule not you over all the kingdoms of the heathen? And in your hand is there not power and might, so that none is able to withstand you? Are not you our God, who did drive out the inhabitants of this land before the people Israel, and gave it to the seed of Abraham, your friend forever? And they dwelt therein, and have built you a sanctuary therein for your name, saying, If when evil comes upon us, as the sword, judgment, or pestilence, or famine, we stand before this house, and in your presence, Lord, for your name, Lord, is in this house, and cry unto you, Lord, in our affliction, then you, Lord, will hear and help. And now, behold, the children of our enemies, who you would not let Israel invade, when they came out of the land of Egypt, but they turned from them and did destroy them. And now behold the children of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir, the enemies of your children even today, whom you would not let Israel invade when they came out of the land of Egypt, but they turned from them and destroyed them not. Behold, I say how they reward us, to come to cast us out of our possession, which you, Lord, have given us to inherit. O oh, our God, will you not judge them? For we have no might against this great company or army that comes against us. Neither know we what to do, but our eyes are upon you, Lord. So I send this prayer in the name of Jesus. Let's speak in faith and belief, even if we only have the size of a mustard seed. God will answer. In the name of Jesus, I pray, amen.